How do you write a first draft of a narrative reading response? In this lesson, you will learn how to write a narrative reading response by connecting the different parts of the story with temporal words and phrases. Let's review. We are writing a narrative reading response to answer this prompt. We are going to imagine that instead of climbing down the third pig's chimney, the wolf tries to trick the third pig one more time. The first step of writing a response to a text is reading the text many times, thinking about different ideas and questions each time. The second step is to read the assignment or prompt and think about what it is asking you to write. In the third step, we generate ideas and make a plan. Now we are on the fourth step. We are ready to start drafting our written response. Later, we will revise our draft to make it better. The last step in the writing process is editing and publishing. In our last lesson, we worked on our storyboard. We added details about each illustration and checked to make sure the sequence of events made sense. Remember that the sequence of events is the order things happen in a story. For example, at the beginning of the story of the three little pigs, the three little pigs left home, then the first pig bought straw and built a house with it. And then the wolf asked to be let into the first little pig's house. To make sure our sequence of events continues to make sense, it will be important as we write today to write the events in our story in the same order that we wrote them in our plan. Temporal words and phrases are words and groups of words that tell when something happens. Some examples of temporal words and phrases are first, next, then, later, before, after, as soon as, finally. We will follow three steps to write our first draft of our narrative reading response. First, we will write the events from our storyboard in order. Second, after writing about one event, We'll ask ourselves, when did the next event happen? Third, we'll use temporal words and phrases to connect each event. I need to start by writing about the events on my storyboard in order. Let's see, the first event on my storyboard is, the wolf invited the pig to go buy some fish on the other side of the river. The pig agreed to go. So I'm going to start by writing that event. I don't have to copy the exact words from my storyboard onto my paper, but I do want to make sure I include all the details from my storyboard in my first draft. As I'm writing, I can always look back at the original text for ideas about what words to use. Let's see, when the wolf invites the pig to the fair, he says, little pig, there is a fair in the town this afternoon. Will you go? Maybe I can write, the wolf said, little pig, there is a fisherman who sells fish across the river. But then I want the wolf to say that he'll meet the pig at two, since the wolf is always trying to meet the pig a little earlier. I have an idea about how to write that from another part of the original text. The wolf says, and so that you will not trick me, I will come for you at five o'clock tomorrow and we will go together and get some apples. So maybe I can write, I will come to meet you at two and we can go together to buy some fish. I also want to make sure I include the detail from my storyboard about the pig agreeing to go with the wolf. The pig agreed to go with the wolf to buy fish. Now I need to ask myself, when did the next event happen? Well, the next event is the pig waking up early. That happened the next morning. I'm going to write, the next morning, the pig woke up very early and went to find the fisherman on the other side of the river. The next morning is an example of a temporal word or phrase. It tells the person reading my story when something is happening. To finish my first draft, I write the rest of the key events for my storyboard in order. As I write, I will make sure I'm connecting the key events with temporal words and phrases.
You are done drafting your story. In the next several lessons, we will revise our stories to make them even better. We followed three steps to write the first draft of our narrative reading response. First, we wrote the events on our storyboard in order. Second, after we wrote about one event, we asked, when did the next event happen? Third, we used temporal words and phrases to connect each event. In this lesson, you have learned how to write a narrative reading response by connecting the different parts of the story with temporal words and phrases.